FedEx layoffs are happening. Cost cuts are targeting up some big European jobs. So people think FedEx layoffs mostly impact the US job market, but it's becoming an international matter because 2000 European jobs are now slashed. And the company aims to slash offices, commercial roles, and consolidate different activities in the region. And not only that, we're also seeing some pretty big cuts here in the US because this is just the European layoffs that are beginning. But the North America layoffs are even bigger as multiple facilities and warehouses are closing. Look at this guys, FedEx plans four facility closures, layoffs in North and South Carolina. And after all of these shipping centers are shut down, it will be impacting over 300 jobs. Now this is just the beginning because FedEx posted some pretty lousy earnings. If you guys pay attention to the stock market for FedEx, they posted some of the worst earnings in years. Stock price that day dropped 15%, and this is the most recent earnings call. And they are deciding to shrink down their office footprint because shareholders aren't happy they're losing this much money. And of course, FedEx is like, you know what? The best way to save money with this decreased demand and consumer spending is to close facilities and fire off employees. So you already have hundreds of employees being fired so far in the past few months and then thousands are being fired in Europe. If you look at this, this is just another little town, another facility that is currently being shut down. 69 workers will be laid off. And the thing about FedEx is, when you look at these numbers, you're like, oh, it's not bad, you know, 69 workers, 200 workers, maybe 300 workers over there, but it really does add up. When you start adding up the dozens of facilities and warehouses being laid off and hundreds of workers from every state and little city, it adds up to thousands of employees. And this number is only gonna get worse as time goes on because consumer demand right now is super low. You're trying to get the average American to spend much and they're refusing to do so. Why? Because a bunch of jobs are being laid off. Like Verizon is trying to lay off thousands of their own employees because of artificial intelligence. T-Mobile last year laid off 5,000 employees. Of course, Americans are not spending as much money as before because they know there's a high chance that they are getting laid off. Even in Myrtle Beach FedEx location, we're seeing employees being laid off. And we got like 134 layoffs so far in Lexington. You're seeing a bunch of layoffs over there in different counties. And like I said, these numbers are small, but they eventually start adding up. FedEx is also closing facilities and warehouses as they transition to more of a robotic type of facility, facilities that implement more robots and AI. And then you also have the FedEx earnings. It is extremely lousy, and the people who bet that FedEx stock was gonna go down made an absolutely amount of money. Right now, FedEx is not in a position to expand. The feds have decided to cut interest rates, and they finally cut it by 50 basis points. But the scary thing is the feds have also decided to cut interest rates a lot slower than expected, meaning we're gonna be in this very high interest rate environment for a very long time. And then when you look at guys like FedEx, right? They can't really expand, they can't open warehouses, and they can't really make their business bigger because the only way to do that is to get loans. Loans are so expensive that it's a massive turnoff for businesses to expand. And of course, with high loans, you got less people opening businesses, less businesses being opened up means less deliveries and less money for FedEx. It really trickles down. And the American shopping spree is finally losing steam. You know, during the pandemic, everyone got stimulus checks. People are buying things that are extremely overpriced. I mean, AirPods are being sold out everywhere and PS5s are being sold for like 3X the price. Now, finally, the American shopping spree is finished. We're seeing less Americans than ever before shopping. Sure, we still have a very, very high consumer demand for certain goods, but in general, the amount of people buying houses is a lot lower. People getting out car loans is a lot lower. And people just buying everyday dumb stuff is also a lot lower. Even Amazon is posting profits are not so great. Adidas posted their first earnings loss in three decades and is warning the US market. Even Nike is posting some of the steepest drops in revenue this quarter because Americans are spending less. It's also a good thing that Americans are finally a little bit more frugal with their money and actually save a little bit of cash. At the same time, because Americans are spending less, you got big companies like FedEx losing a lot of money and now they are laying off employees every single day basically.